Hello students, I am teacher Svetlana and in our today's lecture, we will learn about the habit and habitat, the systemic position and the interactions with mankind of cockroaches which is studied in the chapter, study of animal type cockroaches. So let's begin. Habit and habitat. Habit is the lifestyle of cockroaches and habitat is the place where they are found. Cockroaches are omnipresent, that is they are present everywhere all over the world. It prefers damp and moist places, crevices to live. It is omnivious, nocturnal and cursorial. We have per Periplaneta americana. Blata orientalis and Blata germanica, these are the three common species of cockroaches found in India. Here in this uh, image, you can see these different types of species. The differences in their morphology is clearly visible. Now students, you will see its systemic position, that is the classification of cockroach. Kingdom, Animalia. Cell wall is absent, the uh, heterotrophic uh, uh, mode of nutrition is present, then the phylum is arthropoda, that is they have joint appendages that are present, segmented body, chitinous, exoskeleton, class, they belong to the class of insecta, two pairs of wings and three pairs of walking legs are present, genus is periplaneta, they are nocturnal and they have straight wings. And species is Americana, which means origin is in the continent of America. Here is the image of both the male and the female cockroach. Now students, we will see their interactions with mankind. Cockroaches cause damage to the household materials like cloth, shoes, clothes, paper, etc. They also eat and destroy the foodstuff. They contaminate food which gives typical smell and makes it unpalatable. As they live in sewage pipes and gutter holes, they carry with them harmful pathogen causing diseases like cholera, diarrhea, tuberculosis, typhoid, etc. Cockroaches serve as part of the food chain also. Many amphibian birds, lizards and rodents prey upon them making them a part of the food chain. So, they are also a part of the food chain. Food chain is where one uh, organism is dependent on the another for its mode of nutrition. So, there is an interdependent chain that is formed in the environment and cockroaches are part of this chain. They are eaten by certain groups of people in South Africa, China and Myanmar. Cockroaches is used as experimental animals in laboratories and for biological research as they can be obtained easily without causing damage to the ecological balance. So here you have the images of uh, what they do with their presence in the household, how they spoil and contaminate the food and here is the laboratory use of this animal as they are easily available. They are small in size so it is easy to store them as well as we do not cause a much damage to the ecological balance. Now students we will have a look at the control measures as cockroach is economically harmful organism it must be controlled in an efficient way. Some of the measures are as follows first and foremost is good sanitization. Dark and humid places of kitchen, cupboards, trolley must be cleaned regularly, cracks and crevices uh, and such areas must be filled there should not be any place in home where accumulation of garbage may take place. Now, cockroaches frequently enter home by migrating up the sewage con connections if the drain trap is dry. So, always keep the drain trap filled with water. The next way of controlling uh, cockroaches is a chemical control method where you have organophosphates, carbamides, pyrethyroids and boric acids these are efficient poisons of cockroaches various types of their formulations are available in the market under various brand names so you can see that uh, we have pest control that we have to do at our homes uh, and uh, uh, there is fumigation uh, treatment to get rid of uh, 
cockroaches as pest and we also have these chemical control uh, methods this is an effective poison for uh, an example of the, these uh, chemical control methods which is a formulation which can which is available in the market to deal with the problems of cockroaches at home so with this we come to the end of the contents that you need to study from this chapter thank you students for participating in this lecture see you soon again with the next topic till then take care be safe and keep learning